Hey everyone and welcome back. So in this video we'll be solving another cross site scripting lab on Portswigger Academy. So let's get started. So this lab reflects user input in canonical link tag and escapes angle brackets. So it escapes angle brackets, all right noted. And to solve this lab we need to perform a cross site scripting attack on the home page that injects an attribute that calls the alert function. Okay, so we have cross site scripting attack on the home page, all right. And to assist with your exploit, you can assume that the simulated user will press the following key combinations. That is all shift tags, control blah blah blah. And please note that the intended solution to this lab is only possible in Chrome. Alright, but I'm using Firefox and I believe that it should work on Firefox too. So let me actually access this lab and let me just wait for it to load. And once it loads, you'll actually find the cross-site scripting vulnerability on the home page of that website, right? So let me actually wait for it to load. It's actually taking so long. Is my book suit on? And there you go. We got the lab, right? And they told that we have a cross-site scripting vulnerability on the home page, right? So this is the home page, but I don't see any parameters where I can actually inject, uh, you know, my XSS payload or any text, right? So there are no parameters that I can see. I mean, there are no parameters in the URL. Or there are no parameters something like you know a search box or something like that there is nothing like that so where should i actually inject any of my text or payload or something like that right so in these kind of scenarios what you can do is you can actually try to create your own parameter with your own value and check if that is being reflected on the page or not so for example i have this url right so what i can do is i can actually create my own parameter right here so question mark and my own parameter right so parameters something like uh, pikachu or pokemon right is equals to pikachu so any random value and hit enter and once i get the response okay it is taking time to get the response and why is that so let me just wait and we should get the response and there you go so we got the response now what i'll do is i'll check the source code of the page right so source code of the page and i'll search for pikachu so pikachu and there you go so we have one reflection and that is in the link tag so we have our parameter that is pokemon is equals to pikachu that is being reflected right here right so what i can do is i can actually inject an attribute with on click right here right so what i'll do is i'll actually close this single quote and then type on click right on click is equals to alert one two three all right and here I think I need to have this single code so that there will there won't be any syntactical errors. So enter and we should be having the reflection. I don't know why my internet is very slow. All right. So we have this, right? So inside the link tag, now we have on click is equals to alert one, two, three. But if you carefully observe, you have something called as percentage 20, which is nothing but URL encoded value of space, right? So if you see the values of URL encoded, right? So URL encoded values. So URL encoded values, right? And I think I can get this list from W3 schools. And if I search for the character called space, so I think I can give space something like that. So for the space, as you can see, it is percentage 20, right? But the problem is that, you know, uh, we don't want this percentage 20 inside the link tag, right? We don't want this percentage 20 inside a link tag. So for that, what I can do is instead of having space, so instead of having space here, right? Instead of having space here, what I'll do is I'll actually use tab character that is percentage 09. So if I go here and search for percentage 09, I hope it has this. So percentage 09. And as you can see, this is for horizontal tab. So let me actually see what will happen if I give percentage 09 right here instead of space, right? So instead of space here, what I'll do is I'll erase the space and then give percentage 09. Enter. So we got a white space instead of percentage 20. So this looks good now, right? So we have the link tag and then we have on click is equals to alert one, two, three, right? But there is one more problem here and that is generally the link tags doesn't render on the page. So if it does not render on the page, you can't click on the link, right? I mean, you can't click on this tag itself, right? Got it? I mean, say that for example, we have an anchor tag, right? Suppose say that you have an anchor tag, something like this. And there is an on click is equals to alert one, two, three on this particular link. And only if you click on this link, then only your JavaScript will be executed, right? That is alert one, two, three. But the problem with the link tag is that it won't be rendered on the page. It won't be visible on the page so that you can actually hit, you can actually click on that particular tag, right? So in that kind of scenarios, for example, say that you have a link tag 
or you have a tag which is hidden in that kind of scenarios where you can't click on that particular link but you can actually inject on click attribute what you can actually do is you can actually use something called as access key and i'll tell you what is access key so here what i'll do is i'll simply close this particular on click and then i'll give something called as access key right so access key is equals to here you need to give any alphabetical value for example here i'll give something called as w right so w enter right and i'll wait for the response and i got the response again we have percentage 20 which we don't want we need a white space here so what i'll do is i'll actually erase the space and use percentage 09 enter and now it should look good right and we got the space instead of what you call as uh, that percentage 20 right now we have a link tag and we have an attribute called as on click which will alert one two three right but the problem is that this link tag won't be visible on the page right this link tag won't be visible on the page so that you can actually click on it correct so what i'll do here is that i'll use something called as access key so with the help of access key what i can do is i can actually use this access key to trigger this on click on this link tag got it okay let me just tell that again now the problem is we have a link tag where we have an attribute called as on click which will execute this javascript correct but you can't actually click on this tag and the reason is link tags are not rendered on the page so you can't click on this tag so for that what we can do is we can use something called as an access key and what access key will do it will actually trigger on click on this tag so that you can actually execute this javascript and how access key will work so for example on windows what you can do is you can actually press Control shift i guess sorry it's not Control shift i think it is alt shift and along with this character so if you press alt shift along with this w right for example say that you have given a here instead of w then you need to press alt shift a and for example if you have given x here then you have to press alt shift x and whenever you actually press that what will happen is that will trigger on click so that will actually trigger on click and once the on click is triggered your javascript will be executed and that is how it works so finally let me just tell that once again right so we have a link tag right where we have on click attribute which will execute alert one two three but the problem is that you can't click on this tag because link tags are not rendered on the page so in such scenarios where you can actually inject on click attribute but you can't click on that particular tag what you can do is you can actually use something called as an access key and give a value for that so that when you press alt shift plus this value it will actually execute on click i mean it will actually trigger on click sorry so it will actually trigger on click and when the on click is triggered it will actually execute your javascript that is alert one two three now so let me just go back to the page right so let me just go back to the page enter and now on my you know on my keyboard i'll press alt shift and w and there you go we got the pop-up and that is how you solve this lab but the problem is it is saying that i didn't solve this lab yet and why is that maybe i should use chrome so i'll just copy this i'll just copy this and simply open chrome so i'll open incognito tab and then i'll try to paste that link here i think it should work so let me just wait or let me actually press alt shift w and here also i'm getting pop up but i don't know why this is not working right so let me actually see the description of this lab again right so to assist with your exploit you can assume that the simulated user will press the following combinations all shift x okay we need to use x not w right because here they told that the user will press x but not w so instead of w what i can do is i can actually use x right so x enter and this should solve the lab and there you go so that is how you solve this lab so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you have any doubts you can always join my discord channel and i'll be there to clear your doubts right so thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll solve all the laps on my youtube channel and yeah that's it see you bye